Yo guys, it's 41. Welcome back to Shadow Corridor Part 2. I, I shouldn't be saying the parts and everyone. I'm going to lose track. All I did is walk forward a little bit and I'm into a cutscene, apparently. That doesn't sound good. What? Huh? What? Oh my god. Run. Run. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Oh, <laughs> Uh, firecracker. Maybe I draw. Maybe I drew her towards me. Actually. Oh God. I hate this. Oh. I don't like this. Oh. I don't remember any of this. What is that? Is that something over there? Dead end. I got scared by a dead end. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Huh, huh, what? Over here, okay. All right, we're still running, I think. Oh my God. God. Sounds so close. I don't want to be near it. Locked. Okay. Oh, thank you, cat. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to firecracker. I didn't mean to firecracker. I didn't mean to firecracker. What? Oh my god, there it is. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, can I not open the door? It's like a bell girl. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw the, uh... I just froze. <laughs> I just froze. I couldn't do anything. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do this a little better this time. I have a better idea of what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh my god. I just assumed it would um, fix itself the uh, problem. <laughs> oh my god. That's horrifying. I hated it. Is it the same? Why is it so dark? Oh, dead end, that's why. Face itches. It's alright. I'm cool. I'm with it. It seems a lot darker than it was before. What the... I swear it opened the other way last time. Oh, god dang it. Thing's chasing me. I'm gonna try to give it the slip. Last time she looked straight at it for a long time. I'm just, I'm hoping that I'll keep, keep her busy for a little while. While I find the right way to go. Okay, here we go. Here's where the cat is. Okay, cat. Cat, 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 cat. I'm gonna stand still. Or wait, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to do something with this right here. I'm trying to be as silent as possible. Check. What? 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 Huh? 
Proceed to the next stage. I didn't know this was like this. I remember something not totally different. It was definitely the same kind of design. Cord corridor cord oh my god corridor of the evening of cicadas. The moment I touched the mirror, a sinister darkness engulfed the area around me. The alley I was in. But a moment before it was nowhere to be seen. As darkness enveloped everything in sight, maze like corridors stretched out before me. I need to get out of here. The, in the intrepid attitude I felt I so innocently felt an instant ago was gone. I replaced it. It was replaced with a growing sense of anxiety and dread. Yeah, maybe now you'll stick to the roads. No more exploring for you. Is this Christmas presents? What is that on the top right? I gotta get five thingies. Okay, is this where the random gin part comes in? That I was um, expecting? These things literally open the way I don't expect them to every time. God dang it. I always think it's the other way. <sighs> the denizens of the corridors will make full use of their visual and auditory senses to search for you. Visual senses generally while your lighter or flashlight are in use, it will be easier for enemies to spot you. However, light emitted from candles placed throughout the corridors have no effect on the enemy's ability to see you, so you should light any and all candles you come across. Always be aware of possible hiding spots in your immediate vicinity. When danger approaches, find a dark hiding place to, and crouch as quickly and quietly as you can. Quarry, traditional large baskets woven for bamboo, make the safest hiding spots. While hiding, always make sure your lighter or flashlight is turned off. Auditory, the amount of noise produced by your footsteps depends on how you move. Crouching, crouch walking produces little to no noise. Walking produces some and running produces a lot. Some enemies are more or less sensitive to noise than others. You mean, I'm more sensitive, yeah. Generally, most enemies will not be able to hear your footsteps as long as you maintain a walking pace, okay. Or if an enemy that is particularly sensitive to noise is nearby, immediately crouch and proceed forward using a crouch walk. You are just a helpless mortal. They don't even think of trying to confront the apparitions of the corridors. You hear that? Is there something in here? There's a girl right there. But there's a glowy thingy. Do I go for it? Wait. My lighter's on. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Did you hear that? I walked for one step. Okay, I'm fine. No need to freak out. Nothing happened yet. Can't see anything. It's like a crying girl right there. I'll turn the brightness up for you um, in post. But I want the green thingy. I'm right at the beginning. Maybe I'll be able to make it. Oh, I don't want to look. Can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I made it. I got one 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 thingy with a thing on it. It's like half of a uh, peace sign or something. I don't know how long I need to crouch walk, but I'm doing it, man. Like I said, I think this is randomly generated, so maybe I just got lucky or unlucky with her being right there. And the thing being there. What is that thing even called? I, I don't want to get up. Okay, I'm, I think I'm good. I got a thingy. Oh, is it like a checkpoint? I'm going to go the opposite way. Okay. How about we never use the sprint? How about that? Light everything. This is a door. Something about this atmosphere just makes me want to jump immediately at everything going on. What is there outside right there? Okay, 
Okay, check all the drawers. Game has taught me well. I don't feel confused about anything. Old camera. An old flash bulb camera. There is no film in the camera, so it cannot be used to take pictures. The flash still works, though, so you can use it to temporarily blind foes. The bulb on these old cameras needs to be replaced with every shot, so it cannot be used again for a short time immediately after it has been used. The closer you are to the foe, the more effective in blinding it it'll be. Hmm. Wait, it took all my other ones. I had like two more firecrackers, didn't I? He's making me jump at everything. It was just spiders. Passive items cause various effects simply by holding them. They have both passive and negative effects. You can only carry one passive item at a time. Japanese headband. It's tied with two different colored cloths. It will give you a stamina boost and allow you to run even after your stamina is spent. It serves two practical purposes. It absorbs the sweat from your forehead to keep it out of your eyes. It also allows you to focus on your work and increase your concentration because you don't need to constantly wipe the sweat off your brow. You can focus with greater efficiency. Okay, so I have better sprint now. That's cool. This is definitely more in depth than I remember. You should give it a try. I don't know how much of a deep playthrough I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'll be beating it because this is a lot here. I would definitely recommend trying it yourself. Oh, it's the woven basket thingy. Okay, I was wondering how you'd hide it. Whenever I think of woven basket, you know, in America, I'm thinking like the little, like Easter basket. I don't know why this is Easter basket, but you get the idea. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know where I am. I'm so lost. What do we got in here? Ooh, another thingy. And a flashlight? I mean, I assume I know what a flashlight is. The brightness of the flashlight depends on the amount of battery power left. Its light shines bright, so you can see far into the distance. The beam, however, is narrow, so you cannot see the area around you well. Compared to everything else in the world of Shadow Core, this item appears to have a form of relatively recent era. It seems to have been brought from the outside world. Let's give a look at it. Ooh, I like that. That's way more of a light than I thought. They described it like it was gonna be nothing. So is this the outside? Could I just break through this and just leave? So I assume there is an end to this. Oh, these are doors. But, oh man, it seems like a lot to do. Maybe I'll make this a series. I don't know if I'll be playing it all the time, but I I might do my usual four parts at a time recording of it. I did do a recording of um, SCP Unity today. It's still the same day as that. My last episode of that. You can see, like, how the shirt's the same. You can kind of assume... You can kind of assume that... I'm wearing the same color shirt as the same day. I like to do a lot of in advance recording. Just so I'd never get backed up. I want to try to keep my daily uploads going. And that means being prepared in case I'm busy one day. I can't record. I don't keep a huge backlog though. Okay, got another camera bulb. Just kind of stocking up on items right now. I assume the objective is to get five of those things. This seems like a job for this. What? That doesn't do it. Well, I guess it does. It goes down a little farther than I thought. Or a little less farther than I thought. Oh my god, that's so bright. Ooh, what is that? Rolling stones! Mysterious blue stones that emit a faint light, they can be used to light up dark places and also as markers to keep track of notable locations. They can be picked up and picked up again and reused. For the denizens of the corridors, the light from the stones is too faint for them to notice. They can be used as the light source in emergency situations where it's too dangerous to use other light sources. So it's like a place marker, but also like emergency light. Okay, so this must be a big maze. 
Drink? Bottle of red liquid. God dang. How many things am I going to have to read? A small bottle containing an odd red liquid. If you drink it, it will recover physical strength based on the amount of liquid you drink. Although it may look suspicious, it has tart, a tart, refreshing taste. Surprisingly, it's easy to drink and goes down smoothly. Anyone who drinks this will feel a well of vitality bursting from within. Is there health in this game? What I imagine there is health. I would think everything would just be an instant kill, you know? That's what it feels like anyway. I'm going to put a marble here. There we go. The um, item scrolling is a little confusing. You would think you would go down to go to the right. Like, if I... But if I want to get to, like, say, the flashlight, I actually have to scroll up. It doesn't make too much sense to me. That's whatever. I'll get used to it. What's the point of having a door here if it's an opening right beside it? I assume check everything. Be better off. Are these just checkpoints? I think they are. <gasps> Another thingy. I don't know what it is. Did it say take what it was? I'll read it next time. Oh, that was my footstep. Okay, so I'm going to say I've been here. Now I know. That I've been here. <laughs> Obviously. Lizard's Tail. A dry lizard's tail used in spells and incantations. When in trouble, the tail can be used to automatically retreat from any location. It is only possible to use this item when your physical strength is at 50% or above. Is that a health? The talisman is filled with a mysterious protective magic. Like a lizard that sacrifices its tail to escape from a predator. Rare this item. So how do I use it? That sounds better than the other thing. I don't plan to run much. Yeah, I have health. I see it on the bottom left. Maybe I'll make these longer. Maybe I won't do 15 on this one. Maybe I will. I don't know. I'll just do what feels right, I guess. So that was a hiding spot over there. So no going back from this point think. Ah, it's just... What is in the shadow corridor? Ooh, that's nice. Kind of look down the hall a little bit. Is the volume too low now? I don't know if you guys can hear well. It's still really loud in my headphones. I just don't want the jump scares to be... <laughs> too loud for you guys there's so much nothing going on that when something happens it's so jarring <sighs> what we got in here nothing hey okay, i ran Nothing in here? Wait, why was I hurt? I don't know what hurt me. I guess there's nothing over here. I'll go down this hallway then. Locked. Well, I have a key. Okay, get my light out, please. Actually, we'll see what's on this behind this door next time. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next part.